Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this story comes from Bradford. And it's about a famous footballer that has just been convicted of a serious sexual crime. A lot of things have came out in court that I find very disturbing and it definitely highlights maybe a need for more education on certain things to do with consent and also the legal age limit. Terrell Robinson, 23 years old, has been convicted of having sex with a 14-year-old girl back in 2018. He admitted making and distributing an indecent image of the child on Snapchat. And when he did this, he had a caption to his friend where he said, I feel like a paedophile. And this is what really got me when I read this story was the fact of the casualness, like him and his friend have both been convicted and they was both casually talking to each other about feeling like a paedophile. And then he obviously raises the question as to why they didn't think they were paedophiles. And a contributing factor may have been that these young girls were consenting to it. And of course, that doesn't matter if a child is under the age. It doesn't matter if she's still consented or they have consented. It's still statutory rape. They say that he was a former Arsenal youth footballer. And we found out that he was played for Arsenal in the youth team for 11 years. He's been jailed for three and a half years and he, after he pled guilty to the sex offence against a 14 year old girl. So three and a half years he'll serve half of that on good behaviour. So he would literally serve 18 months in prison. Terrell Robinson 23 was initially arrested in August 2018 following allegations of sexual assault and he admitted engaging in sexual activity with a child making an indecent image of a child and also distributing an indecent image of a child on Snapchat. He was a left back winger and he's from Essex and he was sacked by his former team Bradford City for gross misconduct after he was charged back in 2018. I also found a video of him shortly after he was charged and appeared in court and he was doing a training session with some YouTube coach. So this was after he was charged and appeared in court. And during the research for this video as well, I found a, a video of him rapping. It seems that he had a side passion for being a rapper. And people have definitely reacted to this on our Instagram channel in relation to the way that he's just talking about brands with no real substance, context or flow. Uh, but let's yoga, let's yoga. On a weekend it might be parada. Come through like you as it's done. Shut down a team like it's Louis Vuitton. Uh. Uh, I can't feel like who is this done? Where the goal are? What is he on? See me wearing that Montclair. What? I said, where is the Montclair? Yeah, said, it's got the Lexis. Soon got the Lexis. But first, I'm gonna jump in as a Nazis. What? I said, jump in as a Nazis. So it just goes to show that sometimes people can have all the opportunities in the world and they still choose to throw it all away for something like material goods or momentary gratification. In 2020, he went to court and pled guilty to distributing the indecent image on Snapchat as well. He denied the further charge of distributing the photograph of a child to a wider audience on December the 17th. And the court heard the prosecution could not proceed with that one count of the distribution. The winger had signed a one year deal with Bradford City back in May 2017. And he was ordered to sign the sex offenders register during a court appearance in June. And from looking at the transfer market website, we was able to see that they've stated that he's suspended and is no longer a player. A second defendant, Corey Berman, 22, also from Essex, originally pled not guilty to all of the charges, and they included penetrative sex with a child. Shortly before the trial hearings were due to start, Berman changed his plea to guilty, to all five counts. Today, he was sentenced to six years in prison. Chief Inspector Alan Weeks of Bradford District Police said, We welcome the prison sentences that have been handed down to both Berman and Robinson, and given their guilty pleas, at least they've spared the victims going through the court process. They would like to reassure anyone that's been a victim of sexual abuse that they will be listened to if they contact the police. In August 2018, they were contacted by two of the victims to report the offences and another girl also came forward. All of the victims were female and aged 14 and the offences happened in his flat in the Bradford district. Both men were arrested in relation to the offences and subsequently charged by police. Following Robinson's arrest, 
League Two Bradford released a statement that said that Bradford City Football Club has parted ways with Terrell Robinson. This comes after West Yorkshire Police confirmed the charges in August of 2018. This is a shocking story and it definitely is something that needs to be focused on. The fact that you cannot be allowing people to get away with this and also you can't be ignoring it. And to obviously look out for it more because sadly there are some people that are just attracted to children and we can't change that. There is treatment for it and definitely need to pursue them sort of avenues. But at the same time, the main priority is protecting the children. So I really appreciate you joining me today. I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. And please don't forget to follow us online as well at Scar City Studios. Peace.